everybody. Uh, that's me. And I wanted to talk to you about technical book clubs and why they're awesome and they can help you. Um, so the first thing is you learn a bunch of new stuff. And you also have to explain it, which makes you learn things. Which, by the way, also, if you're like, eh, I don't want to be a mentor. I don't care about people. Um, <laughs> you, you have to explain things. And then you realize also how much you know and also how little you know. And it makes you learn a lot. So anyway, it's back to book club. Uh, you learn a bunch because you're reading books and you're learning things from the books. Uh, you have fun and you meet your coworkers and you meet new people from other teams and you make jokes about Ruby and how awful it is and how wonderful it is. And then you actually do reading. You always said you would, but you <laughs> haven't. Uh, I don't know how many technical books you have, but I have a good section and then I'm like, oh, maybe we should read this book for book club. And it's like, haha, now I get to read that. Because <laughs> uh, peer pressure is great. Um, oh, whoa, we're going on a detour here. We're going to learn some fun. <laughs> about Ruby exceptions. Um, so the first one is that you can rescue a list of exception classes. I don't know if you've seen this, uh, like rescue my special error, you're just rescuing this certain error class. But if you want to rescue more than one, you can just make a list of them and it'll only select those. Um, the other thing is that if you, so you're going along, your method breaks, uh, if you're my special error, the, the order of the errors matters. So if my special error inherits from, say, name error, um, it will be caught here, and you won't get to this section. Um, so next. Uh, yeah, so the default rescue, if you've ever just rescued everything, because you love all of them, um, you're going to miss some key errors that don't, and the reason is that rescue, the default inherits from standard error, and these are not included there. Um, and I think, you know, there's a reason for that, so be very careful and have a really good reason and probably pass it by like 8 or 20 or 80 people <laughs> if you're going to rescue one of these. Um, and then explicit return. This was an exciting little tidbit that I learned, but if you Ensure and you put this explicit return block in your ensure block. It's just going to let you call this method when it, ra it raises an exception. But that return will just be what your your method returns, and you won't get the exception back. It'll just get swallowed in that ensure. Um, and that's a little scary to me, but it's cool. Um, yeah, so I guess my last point was that Book Club gives you a free lightning talk. <laughs> You're like, oh, I learned some random facts about Ruby exceptions. I'm going to go up there and tell people about them. So thank you very much. Woo!